Greetings friends and welcome back. CJ is ready, I'm ready. I don't know if the city of San Fierro is ready though for what we're about to unleash upon it. But uh, we're gonna do it anyway. First off we're gonna pick up a car. We have uh, three vehicles here in the garage so we can afford to take one. And our first order of the day is to go to the hippie shopper. No, not this one here in the corner. But uh, the hippie shopper... Over there to the right and pick up our share of the profits. It should be full of money, $1,965, which is just perfect, guys, because you see, uh, the maximum amount of money we can get at one time from uh, from uh, the hippie shopper is $2,000. All profits above that go straight into the pockets of the original owner. So it's very important to come back here from time to time and uh, pick up our cash. Ooh. Yeah, CJ should go back to driving school. Well, go to driving school, actually. He, he never uh, went to any driving school in the first place, but uh, don't tell that to anyone, especially... Ooh. Especially not the people at the Vankoff Hotel, which is uh, where we're going right now. Yes, guys, we're going back to the Vankoff Hotel, but not the Vankoff in the Park Hotel, but the Vankoff right in the middle of the Street Hotel. And we're gonna park some cars. Wait a second. I think we're going to need a valet uniform for that. So let's just pop by our house here in Chinatown. And if somebody doesn't steal uh, CJ's car while uh, he's uh, changing his clothes, we will make our way to the hotel. Okay. Valet uniform, there we go. Yes, yeah, CG is going to indulge in a new form of crime. Parking cars. For fun and profit. And also, just in case we get some complaints from, uh, from our customers. I have an idea. <laughs> yeah, the green rag. This should make CJ anonymous. There we go. Excellent. see, I have a saying. There are only two types of cars in the city. Cars which have been parked by CJ and cars which will be parked by CJ. So if you guys are living here in uh, San Fierro and you don't want your car to be parked, you better watch out whenever you see CJ coming your way. And ooh. Yes, 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 yes. Here we go. Ooh. Yeah, we need those driving lessons. And there are our, our friends, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Just greeted them in the... In our classic way, by uh, driving a car in their face. Valet parking. Park three cars in two minutes. I'm building a plastic bubble to sleep in. Hey, Johnny, how's the wife? Hey, what's going on? Ooh. Hey, our first customer. All right. Such is the life of a valet. Parking cars. We, we, damage bonus. We didn't damage the car. Why did, why did we get a damage bonus? But, well, anyway, let's take this car and get back up. It's a long way up, so uh, we better get all the help we can. Ooh. Hello, ladies. Want to go party with CJ in the Vankoff Hotel? Oh, man. I just missed a client because of them. See, that's what happens. Good day, ma'am. Okay, two more cars left to park. One after we park this one. But the problem is we have competition. You see, those valets are also trying to park cars. I'll have to do something about them. Mm. 
Let's see, is this the car he parked? You know what we're going to do? We're going to trash the car that the other guys park. And that, that way they'll get uh, fewer tips. Less money. Sometimes they, they might even have to pay money themselves for, for the repairs, you know. Damn it. Oh, I thought that, that guy was going to come here. But we have a new customer. Enjoy your stay at the Van Cuff Hotel, sir. Yes, it's important to be polite to our customers. Getting a big tip. Well, 50% of a big tip is politeness. And we have received $100 in tips. We're gonna teach this guy a lesson. Don't you. ever touch my cars again. Yeah. But it's all nice here, yes. Sure, we throw a few punches uh, around here and now and then. Sometimes even uh, shoot each other, drive, you know, each other's parked cars to wreck them up. Mine! Uh, there we go. Whew. But it's all in, uh, in good spirits, you know, just a nice fun and laughter. Move it! Nobody is upset, you know, for you have to do something, you know, to keep uh, keep it interesting here. You can't just park cars like a robot all day long. Okay, any other cars here? Not really. Not that I see anyway. Get three more cars left to park. Ooh. Oh, hello, ma'am. She's going to the big pointy building, huh? Yes, uh, that was voted the pointiest building in the whole state of San Andreas, guys. There's a, a plaque saying that right in front of the building. And we do have to park these cars in very specific positions because our clients, that's what they want. If we don't, then... Uh, well, we can kiss our tips goodbye. Yes, now I'm going to trash this car. Since this is the guy who delivered it. Yeah. We always have some sort of a competition going on between us. Either how many cars we get to park in in one shift or uh, you know, who got the biggest tip, some some stuff like that to keep us entertained. Move it. But all in all, it's nice. I wonder though what we're going to get for uh, for parking all of these cars. Will we get perhaps, perhaps a share in uh, the chain of Vankov hotels? Mm, yes, they have uh, they have hotels all over the place. That would be pretty sweet, owning a, a piece of the hotel. No, no, don't you even dare touch my car. Yeah. Okay, now with this car, we should have the second, uh, well, batch of cars parked. Excellent, nice parking there, CJ. $200 in tips. Very good. Park five cars in two minutes. Oh, man. There are more and more cars in the same amount of time, but luckily, for each car we park... Uh, okay, there we go. Oh, look at that lady. Oh, yeah. Uh, CJ uh, wanted to uh, compliment her on her see-through blouse, but, uh, you know, the tips are much more important than uh, the tips with a, with a T in the middle of the word, you know. At least at this moment. But speaking of that, you know, CJ has been feeling a bit lonely lately, especially after uh, all that business with Catalina coming into his life like a hurricane and then uh, disappearing with that mute guy. So uh, he's been trying to, uh, or at least, no, damn it, CJ's tired. 
Well, you know what? We're gonna do something about it. Here, Johnny. I'm gonna strap a pack of explosives to Johnny and make sure that he doesn't get any more customers. Because you see, would you want your car to be parked by, by a guy who has explosives strapped onto him? I don't think so. Ooh, buenos dias. Okay. I don't think that, that woman understood me. But uh, in any case, yes, yeah, so we're gonna park here. And uh, that's just one of the practical jokes we pull on each other, you know, strapping explosives uh, onto each other. Oh, better be careful with, with that uh, remote control, uh, CJ. You don't want to accidentally blow up Johnny. Or maybe he does. <laughs> anyway, CJ is looking for a girlfriend, and um, we might have our friend Caesar help us out with that. Damn it. Look at poor Johnny, see? He knows, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so Caesar, actually uh, CJ got a phone call from Caesar last night. Uh, I'm gonna tell you all about it in a few seconds. Hello sir, good evening, welcome to the Vankoff Hotel. And hopefully Caesar is going to help uh, CJ with, uh, with a nice girlfriend. Because you know, he's always at some sort of a race and uh, meeting all of these racers and uh, there are generally some uh, hotties hanging out at the races, so uh, maybe um, he might be able to introduce CJ to one of the girls. But in any case, Caesar, yes, as I've mentioned, uh, he phoned CJ last night, uh, and um, again, about the races, you know, how uh, he's always uh, talking about sports cars and stuff like that. And uh, he actually knows a couple of guys here in uh, San Fierro who uh, do these uh, street races. And there's uh, one guy in particular who has a really nice car. What the? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, there's a criminal at the hotel! Oh, Mr. Police Officer, don't... Ah, damn it. Yes, he damaged this car. Well, I don't think it matters if we park it anymore now, since uh, the owner is uh, lying on the concrete within uh, a pool of his own blood. But, uh, you know, just to keep the, the boss happy. Anyway, as I was saying, he was uh, talking about this guy who has a really fast sports car. And uh, he got the address, his, phone, his uh, home address. And uh, he gave it to CJ in case CJ would want to, um, you know, take uh, take uh, his sports car for a ride. And then perhaps even keep it. So tomorrow, or uh, the day after tomorrow, we will uh, go to uh, that race, to that guy's place, and uh, see if we can... Uh, see if we can uh, do something to the car. And by that, I mean take it with us. Just, just you try to move, Johnny. Yes, don't worry, boy. I'll take that explosive after after the shift is over. <laughs> so he thinks. Want me to whip your ass? No, sir. What can I add to my collection of fine things? Okay, let's just park here, and we are actually right smack dab in the middle of rush hour, guys. You see. And in, during the evenings and during the nights, this is when uh, all the celebrities and all the stars and all the rich people come here to the Van Kauf Hotel. That's the advantage of uh, having a well-known brand like uh, the Van Kauf Hotel. Look at that, $300 in tips. That's a very nice tip, any way you look at it. So yes, we need to go back and park some more cars. But it's weird, uh, in a way. Ooh, would you look at that? Two fellas. Hmm. Well, this is San Fierro after all, right? No, 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 no. Get off my car. There we go. Whew. Whew. Okay, that was close. All right.
And another nice park there by CJ. Let's see, did we park this car? Yes, we have. You see, we cannot take our, our own cars, the cars which we have parked, only cars which have been parked by the other valets. That's sort of a code of honor between us, between valets, so that uh, uh, we don't end up trashing our own cars, or the cars which we have uh, delivered personally, only uh, other valets' cars. But anyway, we need some people here. Ah, very well. Hello, ma'am. Enjoy your stay at the Vankoff Hotel. Don't mind the spots on the ceiling and on the walls. Oh, yeah. Very nice looking lady. I wouldn't mind spending a night in the, in the Vankoff Hotel with her. And here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, move it, why don't you? Bringing a car. Which we're going to take. Oh, damn it. Yeah, that's right. CJ hasn't eaten all day long. And it's past midnight. Whoops. That was uh, that nice lady's car. I didn't want to trash it. But you know, how come this hotel... I mean, look at it. Look how big it is. How come it doesn't have a bigger parking lot? I mean... In my opinion, it should have at least two parking... Look at Johnny. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's moving around with the, with the bag of explosives strapped onto him, but... Uh, he's not gonna... he's not gonna trick us. Yes, look at this. Only one level of, uh, of parking. Where do we have to park it? Ah, okay. And not to mention, it's quite deserted, so to speak. I mean, uh, with all the clients that this uh, this chain of hotel gets, I mean, you would expect more uh, more cars to be here. But that that's not always the case, because you see, since as I've mentioned, there are some celebrities coming to the hotel from time to time, and uh, that's why the paparazzi know that they're coming here, so uh, they uh, lie in wait. At the entrance to the parking lot and whenever they see um, a car which belongs to one of these celebrities that they immediately uh, have a stakeout and wait for uh, for the celebrity and uh, to take snapshots of of that person so uh, many celebrities don't want to take their cars with them or uh, want to take these uh, oof. move it Want to take these, um, you know... Uglier looking cars. Hey, that was Johnny! With a package of explosives strapped onto him. Well... That guy is fearless, I have to say. Now the problem... Is that we... Might run out of time. Especially if this guy doesn't hurry. There we go. Okay, two more cars. Come on, we can do this, guys. We can definitely do this. No, 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 no. It's my car. It's my... Ugh. Time is money. And we are running out of time, as that guy has said. Time is money. Ooh, hello. Probably meeting some politician here at the Vankoff Hotel. Uh oh. Damn it. Ah, uh, my heart started to pound. Oh boy. Come on, guys. Where's Johnny? Oh yes, oh yes, customer, customer. Customer, two people. Nice young couple. And this guy looks like he's a chef or some sort of a cook with that funky hat he has. Yes, the, the brother chef.
$400 in tips. And, you know, we just saw Johnny with his explosives. Okay. So how many? Seven cars in two minutes. Oh, man. And, yes, it looks like this is another white night for CJ. A night in which he uh, doesn't sleep. Ooh, look at that guy. He has one of those ear thingies. He's a, a security guard of some, of some sort. Yes, you know, uh, hotels need the, those kinds of people to protect the, the, the celebrities and uh, just uh, the regular people who come here. Okay, no cars in the parking lot, so we can't take one to go back. Damn it! Say, Johnny, what do you say you you and the guys go over to the well stacked beats and uh, grab a few slices while I park these cars? Another security officer. Hmm. Come to think of it, I think there's a celebrity coming here to the hotel. Of course, uh, that's all strictly uh, uh, on a need-to-know basis. This is just a, an assumption I have. I, I don't know anything for a fact. I mean, uh, there hasn't been uh, anything uh, written about it in newspapers or on TV. So they're probably uh, securing the area for that person. Ah, yes, Johnny. Well, Johnny... Did you know that uh, the boss said that uh, he would give me a raise just after uh, two days, basically? This is my second day here. Hello, sir? Move it. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it's, uh, it's his car. Yeah. This is my time here. And as that uh, one guy said uh, a few hours ago, time is money. Luckily, this chump, chump left uh, a car for us. Oh, 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 mine, 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 mine. Get your stinking paws off my car. There we go. Oof. Yes, there is competition even between valets. But uh, friendly competition, nice healthy competition. Nothing, uh, you know, uh, that would uh, be too serious. Although, come to think of it, we did uh, blow up one of these valets. A few days ago when we uh, grabbed his uniform, this uniform, which we're wearing right now, actually. We uh, needed to take his uniform in order to uh, to uh, set up that district attorney for Officer Tenpenny. Yes, it's full of blood, but luckily with this red tint on the vest, it doesn't show. So nobody suspects a thing. As long as we keep parking cars. You just have to act naturally. See, that's the... That's the secret to uh, every infiltration, to every uh, undercover operation or mission. Just to act naturally. Be part of the, of the scenery or the, the environment. No, CJ is tired. CJ is tired. No. Ah, <sighs> okay. Ooh, nice sports car. Move it. Luckily, we have plenty of time right now. All in all, a pretty adventurous shift, I would say. And it's still not over, though. We did see, see a guy get shot to bits by the cops right in front of the hotel. Well, that was uh, that was interesting, wasn't it, guys? Oh, no, 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 let me take the chick's car! Let me take the chick's car. Damn it. Ah, just take it. Enjoy your stay, ma'am. Yeah. 
It's not enough that she left another guy to park her car, but she's also insulting CG. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Let's see. This property will now generate revenue up to a maximum of $2,000. That's just like the... The... Hippie shopper. All right. Perfect. Okay, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Let's see. Let's take this car. What the? Hey, Caesar, what up? I got the lowdown on Smokes, yay. Where it is every Monday and Friday, the cash leaves Los Santos for San Fierro. Then every Wednesday and Saturday, a courier takes the yay back to Big Smoke. Okay, I keep an eye out for him. See if I can't spoil their little party. All right, man. Yeah, that's very nice of him. See, he always has some nice tips, some nice uh, hints for us. Um, he knows the right people, and uh, that's why he probably can get uh, a girlfriend for, for CJ. Not that he couldn't get one on his own, but, uh, you know, since he does meet all of these uh, attractive young women at the races, then why not, you know? I mean, if uh, he introduces CJ to uh, many of them, then the chances of uh, one of them uh, getting to uh, getting to like CJ uh, increases. Right now though, uh, we are going... Where are we going? Oh yeah, we're going back to CJ's place. And uh, I'm gonna let him sleep. And then tonight, we're going uh, to that... Uh, Wait, 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 wait. Bike. We're going to that guy, that racer's uh, place, and try to steal that very fat sports car which uh, Caesar has told us about. We could probably do it right now since it's, it's morning and uh, these racer guys are already... I mean, they are always racing all night long, so I, I don't think he's up at the moment. But uh, I think uh, going in there at night would give me uh, more chances to uh, escape unseen. Okay. You don't have time to chase after, after Big Smoke's stuff right now. So. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. We have to chase after Big Smoke's stuff? Let me see. Where? Oh my goodness, you've got to be kidding me! All the way in Sa in uh, Los Santos? No way. Yeah, CJ, they dropped the bomb on us. Damn it. Hmm. Well, in this case, this is a this is a real bummer. What can we do? Hmm. Oh man, this is this is bad timing, Caesar. Let's see. Maybe we can. Uh, maybe we can sleep at the other apartment, which CJ has. I can't go. You know chasing down drug dealers and in, in this outfit ouch okay now let's see where is the house over there okay At least the blood is getting washed from this uh, from this vest. Damn it! 
Well, this is this is not good, you guys. This is definitely not good. Well then. Well, I'm not going back to Los Santos. Not now. Not in the rain. Not while uh, while CJ is so tired. What we could though, what we could do though, is to try to. Uh, Get that nice sports car. Let's see if I remember the address correctly. It should be right next to the old factory. This is the old factory. I think it's uh, abandoned because I don't see any smoke coming out of its chimneys. It's right. Oh, not there. <laughs> hmm. Oh, there it is, you guys. Look at this beauty. Look at it. The bullet. And the cops are onto us. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is a setup. Hmm. Okay. You know what? Since we're here, might as well go and check out the driving school. Hmm. Monster. Slam van and Windsor. Very nice. Hey. Hi there, handsome. Can I get your number? Oh yeah. Yeah, here you go. Call me. Cool, I'll call you. We should hang out sometime. We definitely should. Welcome to the advanced driving school. To pass you must score bronze or higher in all twelve tests. To view a demonstration of each test, please use the TV over there. Passing a test will unlock the next test in the training program. You can come back and check your scores or take new tests at any time. Gotcha. Hmm. Well, let's see. Damn it, somebody stole my car! Oh man, well... Let's see, do we still have to go back to Los Santos? No. But we don't have a car now. Maybe we can buy this place. Twenty thousand dollars. We don't have that much. Okay. You know what? We are going to the garage. And uh, I'm gonna let CJ uh, sleep it off over there. I mean, his buddies should be there repairing or, you know, probably drinking it up and s sleeping uh, as well. But anyway, he should be in the company of friends here. So guys, we will see you all later.